And we're now joined with Loyola All-American outside attacker Thomas Jeske as his team is getting ready to take on UC Irvine in the NCAA tournament semifinals. And Thomas, what's your initial thoughts about facing the Anteaters? Uh, they're really good. Uh, you look at them on video, they got some, some big pins and some really physical middles and they got good setters. They move the ball around well and Brinkley's a great libero. So uh, I'd say they're an extremely well put together team and uh, it's going to take a lot uh, out of our side to compete with them. But um, I, think, I think we definitely have the ability um, but we got to do all our all our, all our all of our things right uh, to compete with a team like that. And now, what's going to be the one key that you guys are going to need to do tomorrow night to get the victory? Um, I think just scrapping hard. They're a very scrappy team. Brinkley kind of holds down the defense, and I think we have to try and uh, compete at that level and just work for every point, get little balls up and turn points, you know, whenever we can. And then serving pass is huge for us too. Um, and they do a good job serving and passing. So again, it's just going to be a battle. Now, it came out about a week or two ago that you were going to be named to the World League roster for um, Team USA. What does that mean to you, being one of the youngest guys named to that team? Uh, it's super cool. It's a huge honor. Um, whenever you get to put on the USA jersey, uh, it's, there's, there's no better feeling. But, um, you know, right now I'm just, I'm just focusing on, on Loyola. Um, I love these guys, and I love this team. And so I'm just happy to be here right now. And uh, when the summertime comes, you know, I'll work hard for those guys. But right now I've got other priorities. Yeah, well, I'm talking about your Loyola experience, you know, besides winning the national championship, what's been the best part about being at Loyola? Uh, I think the guys, we're all super close. I live um, in my house. I have five roommates, so there's six of us. We all have our own rooms, so it's nice you can get away from each other when you need to. But, um, you know, it's every night we're all hanging out in the family room. Um, you know, when we have time, we'll do, like, family dinners together and uh, invite a bunch of guys over. So I think just, like, the overall closeness with the guys and um, just, just the overall team is the best part. All right, so I have to ask then, since they're your roommates, who's the messiest and who's the cleanest of the bunch? <laughs> <laughs> uh, messiest of the roommates, it kind of, some people contain it. Nick Olson's pretty messy. His room's, <laughs> his room's a nightmare, and same with Hutz. And then uh, Matt Phillips and Trevor Novotny are uh, definitely the cleanest. Trevor, um, you know, if, if anything ever gets dirty, you see Trevor walking around with the mop <laughs> and stuff and taking care of everything. So uh, we got a good mix. All right, and final question, you know, this season you were named the Off the Block Springbok Inc. National Server of the Year, and just want to get your thoughts as, you know, you know what what makes you, or what's giving you such a great serving this season, or what have you been able to do to serve so well this season? Uh, I think last year when we had Smallser, he was kind of our green light guy, and uh, we let him kind of run free, you know, he missed a serve, it, it just doesn't matter because he, you know, got so many aces, and I think I think he had a greener light than I do right now, um, but I think it's allowed me to kind of get after my serve a little bit more, and um, you know, just I'm not, it's not an ace or air mentality, but um, you know, I'm definitely I'm definitely swinging a little harder than I did last year, which allows me to put a little more pressure on serve receive. Um, but I mean, you know, guys like Aaron Russell, you know, I think I, I think Aaron has a better serve than me, and somehow I got the award, so uh, it's definitely an honor.